Hey, what's up everybody? This is Pat from Solid Strong, and in this video, I want to talk about the correct way to replace your treble hooks with inline hooks. Now, I know we've done this video uh, several times before, but I'm seeing questions in the community and posts in the community about issues with having the hooks facing the wrong way whenever they're done, and they're getting a little confused on how to do it. So this video is going to be focused just on the installation, on how to make sure that you're installing these hooks, and when you're done, they're facing the right way each and every time. Now, I'm not going to go into talking about which are the right hooks and the sizes for each one of the lures. I'll put a link to one of those videos down below, but this is all about the installation. So let's get right to it. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to take the head and rattle and spook that I have right here. We're going to take these treble hooks off of it, and then we're going to put these inline hooks on it that is going to wind up looking just like our Moonwalker here with the hooks, the rear one facing the back and the front one facing the front. So what we're going to need to make this happen is we need a pair of split ring pliers. Uh, if you don't have some, we do have them available in the shop. Uh, they're what we call our, our braid scissors. Uh, they also have a little split ring tool on the end of it, and then you'll need some inline hooks. Uh, another thing that you can do, I'm not going to do it this time, is replace your split rings that are over here. We have those available in the Salt Strong page uh, at fishstrong.com, and they're the owner hyper wires. Uh, so if, if you're dealing with a lure or a lure that you've changed the hooks out a couple of times and those split rings are looking like they need to be replaced, uh, yeah, it's definitely a good idea to go ahead and replace those two. Your, your whole connection is only as strong as its weakest link, and that is one of the connections that you need to be concerned about. So. Uh, if you got some older lures out there, definitely take a look at those split rings. But uh, here we go. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you really basic for the people that have never done this before. So this is what your split ring uh, pliers look like. Uh, you have a straight edge on the bottom, but there's actually no uh, little notch or anything like that. It's just a straight taper. And then you've got your other one that's got that little uh, notch on it, and that's what spreads the split rings apart. What we're going to do is we're going to insert this inside the ring, and then we're going to use that end right there to open up the split ring so we can take that hook out. So let's go ahead and start with removing the original treble hooks. And what I do is I do the same thing each and every time. What you're going to see is you're going to see this split ring. You're going to have one of the ends that are going to come in from the left, one of the ends that are going to come in from the right. I always start out from the right end. And the reason why I do that is to make things consistent. When I started doing this, I was having issues with my, my hooks facing the wrong way when I was done. So I just started doing everything the same way once I you know found out how to do this. So let's go ahead and even taking this hook off, we'll do the same thing. So what you want to do is you want to make sure and lift up your hook and have it to your left. So when you start over on the right hand side, I'm going to go ahead and rotate that out. So when you start on the right hand side, your hook will be in the right position. So you'll take the end of the pliers that are just, you know, the, the straight end, not the notched end, and you put that on the inside. And then what you want to do is when you close the um, close that notch down, you close the pliers, do it a little bit away from the opening so you'll have room for your hook uh, to actually uh, fit in there. And then you just squeeze down and that's going to open up that gap right there. Hopefully that'll uh, that'll come through. And then you just rotate your hook out. Now there's a couple different ways you can do this. You can either just uh, use the pliers and, and turn that around. But a lot of your inshore lures, the, uh, the split rings aren't very strong. You can actually use your hands and work it around. But for this purpose, we'll go ahead and use the, uh, the pliers. So there we go, we got the first ring off. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, repeat that on this side where we're gonna take the hook, we're gonna put it over to our left, and then we're going to rotate that uh, that split ring around to where we can grab it on the right hand side. We're going to put the plain end inside the split ring and make sure we we rotate that um, that split ring to where whenever we open it up, it's going to have a little uh, bit of a lip that we can get that uh, treble hook under. We're going to squeeze and open it. And then sometimes what will happen in some of these really hard uh, split rings, uh, it might be uh, you know some stiff ones that might be hard to open them. If you just wiggle that split ring back and forth, it'll open up. So let's go ahead and just rotate that in there. And then we're going to go ahead and work that around and then we're going to get those uh, that front hook off there and then what we'll do is we'll talk about uh, getting the uh, the right ones the new ones those inline hooks uh, lined up correctly so that when we're done uh, we're gonna we're gonna be uh, facing the right direction so let's go ahead and pop that off there and then there we go. 
So now we've got a lure that has no hooks on it. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna take these, um, these hooks right here and we're gonna put those on there. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure they're like our moonwalker. The rear one faces the back, the front one faces the front. Let's go ahead and uh, get those positioned the way that we want. We'll go ahead and put that there and then we'll put that there. That way we know that's what it, that's what we want it to look like uh, whenever we're done. And as far as the sizing is concerned, I'm not really gonna get into that in this video. Uh, I will put some links down below that will talk about that, uh, about as far as getting the right size replacement hooks for them. Uh, but in this situation, just to let you know, I'm putting a three aught with a three X wire. And what that three X wire means is that this wire on this hook is intended for hooks that are three times the size of this. So this is normally the size wire that you'd see on a six aught hook and if you notice on a moonwalker it's got the thick gauge wires the reason why I do that is because these treble hooks weigh considerably more than just a standard inline hook so I like using a little thicker wire so the hooks are really close to the same weight whenever you're done so the action of the lure doesn't change that much now there's some little things that you can do to, to kind of you know work around that but uh, this right here is a, is a good alternative now it works really good with your larger lures when you're dealing with smaller lures it really doesn't make that much of a difference but on larger lures you want to make make sure and use the uh, the 3x hooks on them so let's go ahead and we've got these positioned in the direction that we need to go so let's go ahead and put these on and what I'm going to do is just like I did before we, we talked about that split ring you've got one that's coming from the left one that's coming from the right I'm always going to start from the right so let's go ahead and get that going here and same thing we're going to take and uh, put that plane in right up underneath there and we're going to give ourselves some room uh, so whenever we squeeze down on that uh, that split ring and it opens up, that we, we're going to have room for our hook. So let's go ahead and squeeze down. I, if you notice, I wiggled that back and forth. That helps open that split ring. If it's a real heavy split ring, sometimes you gotta you got to work that out. So this is where you can get confused on uh, which direction. This is where a lot of the mistakes happen. So what I'm going to do is after I've got this lifted, I'm going to take my hook and then I'm gonna lift my lure vertically like this. So the back of the lure is facing away from me. So what that means is I know that this hook needs to face away from me. So the back is this way, the hook is facing this way, and now I'm gonna go ahead and slide that on and then just work that split ring around and get it all the way down there. And by doing it, making sure that the hook is pointing away from you and the back of the lure is pointing away from you, they're both gonna wind up in the same direction. So after we get that done, let's lay that down, verify our work. And sure enough, we've got the hook on the back facing the other direction. Now let's move to the front. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing we're just going to, instead of the lure pointing down, face down, it's going to point head up. And we're going to go ahead and start at the same exact way on that right hand side. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this down to where this is away from the body. And that gives me more room to work with. And then I'm going to put the, uh, the, the plane end into inside the split ring. We're going to open that up and we're going to do the same thing. The back is away from me and the hook point is away from me. So so by rotating this backwards and having the head of the lure facing up, you're going to wind up with a with a hook in the right right position. So again, back is away from me, point of the hook is away from me, and then we're going to press that on there. And let's go ahead and work that around. Let's get that closed up. And this right here is the easiest way uh, that, I, well, the, the most consistent way that I've found that's gonna make sure that those hooks are facing the right way whenever we're done. So let's go ahead and check our work. Let's put that down there. And there we go, just like that. We got the front one facing forward, we got the back one facing backwards, just like the factory hooks that are on our Moonwalker. Now I do believe where a lot of the mess ups are is whenever you have your, your hooks off and you're going to put the new hook on there, we'll lay them down in the right direction, but as we pick them up, we'll kind of manipulate them around and by the time we put them on the, on the split ring, they're facing the wrong direction. But if you always do the same thing, if you always make it consistent and do the same thing, these hooks are gonna wind up in the same position each and every time. So we wanna start and make sure that we are on the right hand side of that split ring every Every single time we want to make sure that the back hook 
the lure is facing down and the back is away from you. And then when we put the hook on, the hook will be facing away from you and you can work it on the split ring. Now on the front, we just flip it over like this. The back is still away from you. So when you put the hook on there, the hook point is still going to be away from you. And then you can work that on from the right side of the split ring around. And if you do it each, if you do it that way each and every time, you're gonna wind up with hooks facing in the right direction each and every time. And if you do this enough times, it's really gonna be second nature. When I first started uh, you know, planning out this video on how I'm gonna do this, this, I really had to think about what I did because it's been so long since I've even thought about it. But uh, once you get it down, it's going to be super easy. So I hope that clears up some questions that you might have had, but if you still have any, please put those down below and I'll try to answer those as soon as I can. But this is definitely a surefire way and it's how I use to make sure that these hooks are facing the right way every time that I swap them out. And if you're interested in trying any of the items that I talked about in the video, we do have these available at fishstrong.com. And what I'll do is I'll put a link down below so you can click on it and go right to the page so you don't have to search for it. So I hope you learned something from this video that'll help you put some more fish in the boat. And as a traveling fishing coach. You never know where I'm going to end up next, and maybe I'll see you out on the water sometime soon. I appreciate you watching. Have a great day. Bye. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the best online fishing club in America, where we guarantee that you'll catch more fish in less time. And we now have a new app that's called Smart Fishing Spots. What this app does is it tells you not only where to fish, but it tells you the times that you need to fish with amazing accuracy. And all of our insiders also receive discounts on all the tackle in our store. For more information, go to saltstrong.com. And until then, we hope to see you in the insider community soon.